Peak ATP is a delivery system of oral adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. Now most of you think of ATP as our body's main energy source, but it seems that when it's in the blood, it can have several anabolic and beneficial effects to the athlete. In fact, we can name at least three that have been researched. The first is that ATP in your blood is responsible for driving blood flow to the muscle during hard training. Secondly, ATP increases a process known as muscle excitability. Now muscle excitability essentially is the ability of the muscle to respond to your brain and spinal cord. When that signal gets sent to the muscle, it now contracts with greater force, greater rate of force, and the signals inside the muscle for that contraction are enhanced. Lastly, ATP appears to increase anabolic signaling pathways in your muscle that is responsible for growth and repair. What our lab and others have shown is ATP is able to stave off the fatigue that is typically seen during high intensity conditions. Recently, our lab took NCAA national champions and put them through a brutal Wingate protocol. And we found that ATP supplementation was able to blunt the decline seen in power overall. So what does this mean? Well, you have a basketball player who's been playing all game, and it comes down to the fourth quarter with what really matters. ATP supplementation can blunt the decline typically seen in performance, and it can delay fatigue, ultimately giving that athlete an advantage over his opponent. If you're a bodybuilder and you're training hard with volume, it's important to know that those last couple repetitions are gonna be critical for the muscle to actually adapt and grow. ATP will give you those last few repetitions. If you're a power athlete, such as a baseball player, or a volleyball player, or a hockey player taking a slap shot, ATP will increase your power output and allow you to perform better. ATP is really a pre-workout supplement. We want it to raise up in the blood, and so it should be taken 30 minutes before you exercise, because our laboratory has actually shown that's when you get the greatest blood flow effects, performance, vasodilation, and overall muscle adaptations.